Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to do a playthrough, or not a full playthrough, but a gameplay uh, brief, as I call them, of a Great Western Trail. This is using one of the two uh, community-created Automa. Uh, this one is by Will Gherkin. Um, hope I'm saying your name right there, buddy. Uh, this was the original one. This was inspired by uh, uh, Morton Monrad Peterson's Viticulture Automa. Uh, he creates all the great Automa for Stonemeyer games, Scythe, and others. He's worked with, you know, he works with other people for in Insight. But like most Automa, this is a going to be a deck of cards here that you uh, are going to run through, and it's going to control the uh, your opponent, um, who for me is this yellow-bellied sapsucker here named Briscoe. That is the uh, the name of the character. Uh, or the automa that's being used. So, um, unlike other games where this where it just provides you obstacles, this one actually generates a score, and it does a pretty good job uh, of doing so. So, go through some of the cards here. Um, you see, you just basically have this deck, and I, it's a print and play. So, I've got them sleeved. Um, but you flip a card and just do what it says. Move forward one, and Briscoe would just move forward one on the trail. Um, but there are other cards uh, in the deck, such as they give them special instructions. Move forward one, take the TP tile of the highest dollar value. Um, move forward based on the current speed. Uh, his speed will increase uh, just like yours does uh, in the game. So in this case, he would move at three at the start of the game, but could be four or five later, depending on how much, uh, how successful he is at delivering his his cattle to Kansas City. So uh, the game plays in has three different modes. It has an easy mode, a moderate normal mode, and a hard mode. Um, I'm going to play this at the the regular mode, which is which is pretty tough. Mostly um, in easy mode, you'll use all the cards. In moderate mode, you'll take out one of these move forward one cards. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Take that out of the game. And then uh, for hard mode, you take out two of the move forward ones because the move forward ones are really the basic uh, movement that he could do. He would just move and do nothing else. So um, other than that, you set up pretty much like a two-player game. So I have done that. Um, so I have my player board here set up. I'm blue, the greatest color in board games. And uh, for, this, uh, for this game, I actually uh, randomly set up my tiles uh, with sides. I flipped some of them to the B side just randomly. I haven't, I haven't used any of the B tiles in my playing yet. For the uh, Automa board, as I've learned, the only markers that matter for the Automa are these two here. They're dark ones, so when he gets to, starts delivering to uh, Albuquerque, right, or El Paso, you want to make sure that those are the first dark markers you take off, and as with a regular game, you can you can cover a dark uh, station city tile with a white marker. So when I set this one up, I just went ahead and just piled all the regular markers over there, and then just did the two that matter. Uh, he doesn't have any cards, so the uh, card markers don't matter. He doesn't collect certificates, so the certificate marker doesn't matter either. So it really didn't seem see any purpose in the and keeping those up. So I'll show you my tiles here. I picked those 10 for, that's another difference with the, the uh, Automa, is for easy mode, you would only use his tiles one through five. For hard mode, you'd only use his tiles six through 10. For the moderate mode, you use all 10 tiles, and I've got them here in a little cup. And when he puts out a tile or a building, you'll just randomly draw one, and you always put it on the A side. He doesn't have to, he doesn't have to worry about uh, workers. Uh, to do the things he does. He just moves moves around and places things. Um, um, you know, per, per the instructions on the card. So a lot of times he'll be moving one and doing one little thing. Uh, sometimes he'll be uh, uh, moving his speed, like I said, and doing something else. Sometimes he'll just be moving one. So he never takes any of the actions that are actually on on the tiles. He has no money. So it's very easy to it's very easy to run 
uh, it's not very fiddly at all. Um, he will move his train. He'll try to compete with you to, uh, to get the stations ahead and take the station master tiles if he can. He does have to have uh, employees or hired hands to put there though. So should he for some reason move up before he's actually uh, hired anybody, then he can't he can't uh, can't take the tile. So he'll also try to keep his train in line with you. Um, so he'll only try to take a station station tile if he's ahead of you. Uh, if he's behind you, he just wants to catch up with you. So. Uh, so we've got the cattle market set up here. Seven cards for two players. Got a good mixture of threes and fours. All right. And let's see, the other thing is, so I have, yeah, he always goes first, right? So I've, I've started here and I've got my seven money. Uh, that's the random uh, starting objective that I got. And he got that random starting objective. And the deal is with objectives, he will always succeed at his objectives. So uh, they just go in a pile here. So basically we'll have, a, we'll have a pile here of cards when he buys cattle. Those go there. And then any uh, any TPs, things like that he collects will go here. And then um, uh, he can qualify. He has to earn these bonuses should he should he be the one that takes the Station Master tiles. So um, what else do I want to explain? I think we can get started. I will just go through a couple of turns here, just to maybe a couple of rounds, just to see where we get. Um, I will not be concentrating too heavy on my play because it really just it's about showing what the automa does. Uh, this is part one of a series. There is a uh, child of Briscoe called Garth. And uh, we're going to go over that one as well. That has a different, uh, different flavor. It does some specialization of the employees, um, and tries to make decisions based on that specialization. So uh, it's not just uh, it's not just to go through the cards and do what it says kind of thing based on the state of the board. So uh, let me shuffle the deck here, and we will get started. Um, when this first came out, I was very. Uh, not annoyed. I mean, it's their game. They can do what they want to. But I was a little frustrated. They did not have a solo mode. Um, and I was very happy to see uh, that somebody had created one and then find out they've created two. So hopefully uh, 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 Eggert Spiel and Package Spiel will take note of the popularity of this uh, as a solo game as well as a, as a uh, multiplayer game and maybe include this officially or endorse one of these officially or come up with their own. So anyway, a little plug there. Um, all right, what we'll do, we'll start by drawing the first Automa card and we get move forward one. All right, so as I said, he is going to, he always starts at the beginning. Whereas, uh, as you know, if you play the game before, you can start on any uh, location to start the game. So he always starts at one, so he moves along the path and he goes there, and he does nothing else. So that's my turn. So I've already drawn my hand of cards here, and I have three jerseys and a Dutch belt. So I don't have a good starting hand. I need to try to get rid of some of those to get some something good. So where I'm going to start, I probably should have looked at this before the game. And I do need, I do need some uh, uh, hazards. Uh, to win, and I think that we will do that. I've learned that the that the uh, certificates are also very important to getting up to the higher ones. So I'm going to take my cattleman, and I'm going to start. I think I'm going to go ahead and start here. And for my action, I can discard two matching cards for four, and then I can take a. Uh, hazard for seven. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to discard those two cards there and get four money. Let's see. Let's take a five and make change. All right. So I've done that. And now I am going to take a hazard tile for seven. Unfortunately, when we set this up, 
uh, and we did our initial placement. We ended up with six teepees <laughs> and only this one hazard tile worth three. So I will just take that one, add it to my pile here, and then I will pay the seven and get three back and change. Two, three. Okay. All right. I did use two of my cards, so I get to draw two new cards. I got a green belt, or Dutch belt, and a black Angus. All right, so here we go. All right, go the Automa, and the Automa says, move forward one and take the TP tile with the highest dollar value. Simple enough, so we move forward one, we just move on the main path here. Now that's no requirement. What the, the, the rule is for his movement is that he's going to move as fast as he can each time to Kansas City. Right, up to his, what, you know, the movement that he takes. So sometimes like here, when you're in a fork and his location tiles start going out, it may be faster for him to go this way or this way. Uh, if he passes one of your hand uh, tiles, uh, you know, with a hand on it, the green or black hand on it, he will, you get, you get the money from the bank. Uh, if you pass one of his, then you just pay the money to the bank because he does not build up any, any stack of coins at all. So that's pretty cool. And he takes the TP with the highest dollar value. So looking at all this, he's going to take that one. And all that happens here is this is going to go in his pot. Right, and we'll just fill those at the end of the, the, the game when we're doing scoring. All right, so now it is my turn again. And now looking at my cards, I don't know where I have two greens. I need to get rid of a green and try to get something else, right? So I get this extra card here. And what, what is on my path that we can do? Um, there is the green there, and I can take a, get rid of a green for money and uh, put out a house so, or a building. So I'm going to do that. So that is, uh, I can go there one, two, I can move three, so I'm okay. All right, so take my guy. One, two. One thing I like to try to do is get to Kansas City first for the first time. So that's why I try to start higher up. So I'm going to discard. The green, take two money, and then I only have uh, so far one uh, craftsman. So you only build one building, a, a, a number one building. I have two in this in this game. Uh, one lets me discard. Oh, that's interesting. I can discard a objective card and move my uh, certificate token two. Or I can move my train backwards, and I can move my train backwards one and take three coins. I like that. I'm going to build that. So let's take that. And I'm going to put this guy um, There's no way I can really block him yet and get that, get that benefit. So what I'm going to do is I'll just put it there and hope that a hazard comes out later. Okay. And because I, I have to pay two for every uh, craftsman used, so this used one, so I have to pay two, two money to the bank. That is my turn. I do draw a card. And I get a... All right, I got a Guernsey, so now I've got a nice seven here. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the Automa. It's gonna move forward one, take a hazard tile worth the highest amount of victory points. Well, that's good because I took the hazard tile, so he can't take one, and then they boo boo. Here's an example of what I was talking about. Move forward one, he's gonna move the uh, fastest way to Kansas City. So, Usually you measure, the good thing is you only have to measure like fork to fork, right? So from here to this fork is two. From here, when this path to this fork is one. So he's going to bypass me and go there. And then he would take the highest tile, hazard tile, but there are none. So that worked out in my favor. So we'll discard that. 
and I will take my turn. Well, I do not want to. I do not want to discard anything. I would like to get a worker, but downside is I don't have enough money to buy the cheapest worker, who is six. So that's not good for me. If I discard one of my cards and and gambled, I have not seen a Guernsey yet. I could gamble. I could go there, get, discard my Guernsey and gamble, then I'm gonna get one in the draw. And he is far enough back that I think I'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot. This is a great game, I love this game. All right, so I'm going to discard my Guernsey. Take two money. Okay, and then that gives me my six that I need. And I am going, I think, I like getting my train moved ahead because he's going to move his train. So I'm going to get me an engineer. And I'm going to go put him on the board. And if I discard, if I discard a, hmm, if I discard a jersey, then I can get, I can move my certificate down. And again, I'm going to take that gamble because here's why. Because if I discard this jersey, that's one off my cattle total. However, I can, if I have to, I can spend the one here to make it back. So it's a straight up trade. If I get the jersey, then I don't have to spend that. But if I don't, then I can spend that. So it's, it's a, it's a, I think it's a no loss situation there for me. Plus I got two chances to get my uh, Guernsey back too. So, all right, I am not going to take the third action to buy one at a two penalty. So here we go, I'm gonna draw my cards. First card is, got my Guernsey back. So that gamble paid off. Next card is another Guernsey. So the good news is I'm at six. So at the very least I can go into Colorado Springs uh, first and, uh, and that'll be okay, so. Let's draw for Briscoe here. All right, he's going to move forward one. Okay, so here, again, the shortest route, is a, this is a uh, crossroads, so the shortest route to get to Kansas City is to go straight here, so he moves there. And the second part of his action is take the least expensive worker. Okay, so we look, and there's only one because we cannot buy on the market row at the moment. So he's just gonna take the least expensive worker. If there were, as the game progresses and you get down here where it fluctuates and it's higher and lower and stuff like that, you, uh, if you have multiples, you'd, you'd start at the top left and work your way through the, through the uh, ones that were all the same lowest price. But he has bought a Craftsman by Sears. Now these actually go on his board and there was some discussion uh, on the Automa uh, Files uh, thread that says, do they take these actions? And the designer said, and I agree with, he, they do not take these actions or these actions. They do get these actions for the Cowboys. Because these imply uh, having some money, uh, workers to do things, to, to pay for them. And uh, these imply using engineers uh, to do things and having cards to swap out and stuff like that. And since they don't use the uh, certificates and they don't use money, uh, it only makes sense that they would just use the cowboy row. So anyway, he has bought a craftsman in his turn. It's done. All right, so my turn, I'm gonna go into Kansas City now. And there we go. And the first thing we're gonna do now, so I need at least two hazards, right? And I have one, but I know that the Automa has already used up his take a hazard tile. So regardless, I have to put out a hazard, but usually what I was getting to is I'd usually put out the one with the least amount of points if I'm not trying for him, because it gives him less victory points, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this one out. And it goes right there. And then I move to here. And I wanna see a cowboy on the board especially since there's only one of these that I can take. 
So I'm going to take the cowboy. Job market goes down. He goes in that slot. All right. And then I move to here. And I'll just take this guy and throw him onto the board as well. Okay. Now I'm going to go to four. And that's where I assess my hand. All right. And I have uh, six using the, because uh, this is a duplicate. Using the one certificate is not going to help me because they're even numbers. So, uh, so I'm going to do these for six. So those all get discarded. Yeah, break. Six money forward. And we see the sixth space that I can take there is Colorado Springs. So I will go there first. And I can take a white token off my board. You know, one that's bordered white here. And I... I am going to start giving myself this option to be able to move my train. So we're going to put that up here in Colorado Springs. And of course I don't get either of these uh, bonuses or penalties yet until I take the other, go into the other city. Alright, so that is, that was step five. I didn't move my guy. So the next step is he comes all the way back over here to the start. And I have to rebuild the supply. Okay, so we have a hazard. Now the rules for the Automa say that when he gets to Kansas City, I'm allowed to pick uh, which one to take off. But that felt a little... Too much opportunity for me to to uh, stack it in my benefit, you know, to stack the board. So I just roll a die and I do odd even, or usually I do one through three is the top and four through six is the bottom. And I just take those and put them out there. Uh, same thing here. If there's a route that has uh, the same number of steps, right? So like uh, the automobile is here. As we're standing right now, it's one two steps to there, it's one, two steps, that route. So it benefits me because my route, because I get two gold, but I, I don't feel right about that, so I roll a die. Again, do like one through three and four, five, six, and, and try to take care of it randomly. So let's see, so I just closed out. Uh, now draw, redraw my hand so I get my, I get my six money added to the pot. And I draw my four cards. And I get Angus, Jersey, another Angus. So I'm going to get rid of one of those. M4. Bottom it goes. All right. And he moves forward one. All right. In this case, there's only one. Either way, either route gets into the same place, so it doesn't matter. So, one there. And then the second part is take the cattle card with the highest amount of victory points. So this is where it kills you with this cattle card. Because some of these, if the, if the purples come out and have sevens on them, that kills you. But we are here, and it's a five. If there were a choice, same thing here, eventually he'll take an objective card. And if there's a choice, I go ahead and do the die roll thing again to determine which one to take because I don't want to leave one that's favorable for me arbitrarily. I'd rather just be, you know, or, or by decision. I don't want to stack it in my favor. So, so that's the five. I'm going to make sure you take this and you just add it to this after pile. You know, get points for those at the end of the game. And that was his turn. All right. So. I could go there and take a TP and get some money. I could um, and do a double action, but I don't have any double actions yet. But I think I want to go and get my train moving because I know he's going to move his train soon. So I'm going to go and move and stop there. And I'm going to pay two gold. Again, I keep calling it gold. I keep calling it money. I keep calling it all sorts of things. Coin. So I paid my two, and now I can move my train two stops. All right, 
So we're going to move him to spot two. All right. Because I want to get him. Oh, you know what I forgot? I did forget. I moved to Colorado Springs. I have a penalty. A transport cost of one, two, three that I should have paid before. All right. So I'm going to get that money out of my bank. Because I forgot that step. So I'm going to go there. I know some of you were probably screaming because I messed up. Okay, so I had to move my train and now I'm going to take an action. I think I'm going to do the draw and discard. I'm going to do the draw and discard. So, draw my last card of the deck. Get another jersey. Which added to everything else. I'm just going to discard that jersey. So, that is the end of my turn. So, we'll see what the ottoman is. All right, he's going to move forward one. So all these roads go through here and it's one in this case, and both, nothing's blocking it yet. All right, and now he takes the least expensive worker again. So in this case, the least expensive worker, there's two on that six row. And so you start at the top left. So he's going to get another craftsman. So the craftsman goes on this board. So I'm going to take my guy. I'm just going to move one. I'm trying to get some stuff done here. And another thing is to get some of these out, out of his point salad. But you also want ones that you can maybe achieve. So. Oh, tough call, tough call, tough call. I am going to... Two of those. Play that one. I can move my train three times. I'm going to go ahead and take this one, because it's a five-pointer. I took the card. Uh, let me punish it. Okay. And then... Um, The next option, which is for every engineer I have, I can move my train one, and I have two engineers, so I can move my train two. So we move to three and to four. Now, it's a risky situation here because if he gets to move his train, he would move three at first, but then he would skip past me and go to that if he, if he moves a fourth spot at some point. So, all right, so. Uh, that was my turn. I didn't use any cards, right? I did not use any cards. So, all right, on my turn. Yep, look at that. Three train spaces. So, this will show you what happens when he gets into Kansas City. So, he moves forward one. All right, but he's in Kansas City. So, that one movement's going to take him to Kansas City. So, you're going to skip that. You're going to process the rest of the card completely, then move him forward one. Okay, so normally he would move forward one, then do the other stuff. But in this special case, if it's going to take him into Kansas City, and there's other actions on the card, you do the other actions on the card first. So he's going to move his train up to three spaces forward. The reason it says up to there is because if he can pull into a station, he will stop in the turnout and uh, take the, to take the uh, station. But he is not, because he's only going to move three. One, two, three. So he's right behind me. And he's not getting into the station. Okay, so now we did that. And now he's going to move forward one. So that's going to put him into Kansas City. And now what I was saying is, um, we will uh, randomly determine which way we're going to take out. So it's a two, so we'll take this one off. Do one, two, three. So this hazard is water hazard. Goes down there. Okay. And then he goes to the next spot. It's five. So it's this guy. Goes onto the board. And then the next roll is a two. So it's the top. So I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six. So another, another engineer comes down here. Okay. So that is what he has done for the uh, forecast. And he's going to move to there. He doesn't actually do anything with four and five. All he does 
And this is one of the other uh, alterations for the uh, different different levels of the uh, of Briscoe's play. If he is on normal mode, his first delivery is to Colorado Springs. Easy mode, he'll go to Wichita first. And hard mode, he'll go to Santa Fe first. So, he's going to go there first. So basically, we just need, it is a white, white token that we need. So we're just going to take one off his, off his pile and throw it in there. All right, so he's on Colorado Springs. Okay. Now, if he gets, when he gets his next delivery to Santa Fe, he will take an objective card. When he does these, when he does uh, Al Albuquerque and Santa Fe as well, he'll take a card. And then the rest of the bonus points he'll just get at the end. Just like a player would. Okay. So, he did that. He claimed that. He gets no, no points up front. So he just moves one of his tokens over there. And he comes back to two, and we reload the forecast. Ooh, a lot of engineers and a lot of, got a dearth of cowboys coming out so far. Got one in the market and one in the forecast. So, all right, so he's done with that. And that shows a full route that he's taken of getting from, uh, from the start point all the way up to Kansas City. So you can see how it works. Okay, so it's my turn now. He has just delivered to Kansas City. So uh, I'm going to go here. And I am going to discard two matching cards. For f oh, that still doesn't give me any money. You know, I may draw something else. So I'm going to take a risk here and discard. In all the games I've played, it has not been. I have not ever had to go to the low cities at all. I always managed to get past these. I've had to take the one with the negative, you know, I've had to go to Wichita where I got the negative one, but I've never had to go there. So I don't want to break that streak, but I'm going to go ahead and discard those two cards. And that gives me full money. One, two, three, four. And then I am done. I am not going to take that other action because I'm trying to save my money to go to the cattle ranch because I need to get some cattle. And now I get to draw two cards and I get to shuffle my deck. And I get a jersey. And I get a Guernsey. So I'm now at five because that won't count. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Cool. Them's the brakes. Because I'm not going to have... I don't have a black angus I'm going to get rid of. To get some more money. I'm stuck at five. Hmm. I know where to, know where to go to... To hold myself off. Unless... Maybe he'll put a building down in front of me. Which is one of the rules. One of the options. We'll see. Let's see what happens. On my card. Gets drawn. Ah, look at that. I get to put a building down. That's so awesome. Move forward one. So he's going to move there. So that's the only first spot. Now draw a random building from Briscoe's bag. Place it on side A on the next space in front of you on the trail. Now, here's one of those... Here's one of those problem things here, is because there's two spaces in front of me on the trail. So if I wanted to, see, if I, here's where I could stack the deck and put him here. And I could go there, take an action, draw one gold, and then I would have my six I need to buy a cow at my next stop. But see, that seems gamey to me, to be able to just force it. Because a player wouldn't necessarily do that, knowing what I was, a player wouldn't know I was going to do. So we're going to draw one, and then we're going to roll to see where it's going to go. Alright, so we have drawn this tile 10, which is worth 13 points. Oh, I hate this thing. Ugh, so it's 13 points. And that's about what he beat me by last time. Alright, so we're going to roll. And that's a 1 through 3. That's a four, five, six. Please be four, five, six. So I'm honest. 
that's a one. So, all right, so he goes there. And he just earned 13 points, and I have nothing that's going to help me now in regards to that. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Right? So he did everything there. And now it's my turn. Hmm. Boy, that stinks. That stinks. I really wanted to buy that cow, and there's no other. There's no other cow purchase on the way. Okay. Well, live and learn. You know, gonna just like it or lump it. So what I will do is I am just going to go ahead and move my guy this way because I don't want to pay him two. And I will go there. Oh, you know what? That would have killed me anyway. Because if I landed, if, I, if he'd gone here, I would have gone here. I would have had to pay the bank two. And I would have been down too much money anyway. So I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Uh, my best bet would have been to not take money but discard and draw. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's that's moved now. All right, so for every two of my uh, engineers, uh, I can move the train forward one. So I'm going to do that. I remember I have two engineers, but I only want to move one space. Okay, I'm going to do that. Poop. And he goes there. Now I can pay two to upgrade. And since I didn't buy cows, I will spend two upgrade the station and I am going because money seemed to be tight and I'm going to take this one It'll allow me to draw and discard two to maybe get better hands so that will go here on the station and also now I am going to take the station master token okay Put that there and put this engineer in as the station master. So I lost an engineer, but I've done that. And what that has done is given me a permanent certificate. So all my all my hands are going to be worth at least one more each turn. Okay, and I still have four cards, so I don't get to draw any. So that is the end of my turn. Automa goes, Briscoe goes, he goes forward one. So all he's going to do is move here. Okay. My turn. So again, move him here. Just going to green, Dutch belt, green belt, greenway, walkway. Get too many. And then I get to buy a house or building. The only one building I have left because I've only got the one builder. And I want to keep that other. Or do I? Let's see what my twos are. I get some extra twos this time. I've got one where for each cowboy I can draw and discard. Oh, I like that. And I can move my cowboy three spaces. I'm going to do that one. So I'm going to take this one here. Take this one here. And I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade this building. So, of course, the upgrade is from the one to two. So I need one uh, or one craftsman, which I do have. And I pay two for that privilege. Two goes in the bank. And this tile goes out of the game. Never to be seen again in this game. So now I have that option in play, which is actually pretty cool. I like that a lot because I can stop there and then keep moving. So that is awesome. All right, so I discarded a Dutch belt, built a building, and I am down phase C, down one card. So I'll draw up another card, and I get a black X. All right, so that helped. It was just a swap of one for the other. All right, let's do the autumn's turn. Briscoe is going to move forward one, and here he's going to take the objective card. So he moves forward one. Now here we go. Okay, another choice. 
getting to here is 1, 2, getting to here is 1, 2, so we're going to roll 1 through 3, 5 through 6. Let's see which one he gets to, 4 through 6. Okay, that time he rolled on mine. Okay, so he moves forward 1. So the rule is I, can t I, can, I get to choose, but I don't like choosing, so I'm going to choose. So he landed on my space, so I get 2 money. Yay, that helped me. And he also, though, takes the objective card that's worth the highest amount of victory points. So we have a three, a three, a four, and a four. Now these two look identical, but they're not because they have different, uh, different benefits and they have different requirements. So we'll do the same thing with the die roll. One through three, we'll do the top one. And uh, four, five, six, we'll do the other one. So we'll do the top one. Okay, so he takes this one and puts it in his pile. And then we replace it with a five. Okay. Five pointer. Alright, so he's done. And it's my turn. Alright. So I do have five five money. I can buy me another engineer if I want to. I also have a Guernsey if I want to risk it. I can discard a Guernsey, get two gold. And I can buy buy one worker and get my engineer back. I do not I would do that later in the game if I had fours and fives and threes cows in my deck. Right now, the odds are I might get, well, I could get a green belt, but I don't need the money to buy the worker. I have, I have five money. And right now my hand is five. And I can do a six, but I can't get into Colorado Springs. I can do a seven. I could use, oh, see if I'm getting rid of a two to get another two, that doesn't do me any good though, does it? That isn't smart at all. I do want the worker though. I just don't think I'm going to discard to get the, I'm not going to discard to get the other. So, alright, so we're going to go here. I'm going to go ahead and stop. Go here. I am not going to discard, but I am going to spend my five money da, 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 to you can do them in any order so I can't change my mind so I can get the, oh take it back just take back a five I forgot the main rule I can't use this row yet right can't use that until uh, the job marker has moved down so let's just remedy this here So I'm going to, oh, but I can only take a single action if I do that. But I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go here as planned. And I'm not going to take any of these actions. But what I am going to do is, uh, if I draw and discard, I could get a better cow and discard a jersey. But if I go ahead and discard the Guernsey, if I don't do something, I'm going to end up in Wichita. So I'm going to end up in Wichita anyway. I might as well get the worker and just pay the seven. Or do the cowboy and get six. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, so I take advantage of this opportunity. I'm going to discard the Guernsey. Okay, take two money. Okay. And then I'm going to buy this cowboy for six. Uh, basics. Take the cowboy. Put him on my board. And now when I go to the cow market next time, I'll be able to do something with him. And hope I draw something good. So I did do the discard. I did the purchase. I'm not going to do the other purchase. So my turn's over. I'm going to now draw a card. I've gotten... Hey, Black Angus, so that helped. 
No, it didn't. Did not help me at all. Just have an extra blank Angus. Uh, Briscoe's turn. Draw. Move forward based on current speed, three, four, or five spaces. So he is still at three. So he moves forward three. So he's going to go one. And then this doesn't matter because this is two, three, two, three. So he ends up there. And that's all he does. So he's catching up. He wants to. He wants to get to Kansas City too. All right. So I will go into Kansas City. Do my job. And I am going to pull the. I'll go through a rock slide token out. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want this to still be a random choice of the shortest route between those two spots. So I want that to be. An option for me so that goes out on the board and this is me so i can choose whatever i want not that that matters that's a pretty easy choice I'll slide him down now the fives are available and then i am going there's a lot of engineers so i'm going to put another cowboy out on the board and he won't be available until uh, the next job market all right so that goes there my hand total was four um i had to add a black angus and a jersey that was three plus one uh, permanent certificate gave me four so i took four money um and then i went into wichita which will give me a penalty of minus one at the end of the game but uh i will also uh did not have any delivery uh costs because i'm past it and so uh or transport cost i think it's called and so i got the four money I restocked the forecast board, right, got those there, and now it is back to Briscoe. I'm back at the start, and Briscoe is getting close. And we've got a few more cards to go, so we'll finish one pass through the deck, and then you'll see what it is. So, move forward based on current speed, three, four, five spaces, he's still a three, and three is going to take him one, two, three. Kansas City. So here we go. Gonna do, I'll close him out and uh, well, so he's in Kansas City. Okay, so two takes this one out and that messes my plan up. See, I would have taken the other one. I get a choice. Two takes the first one. So on the job board, this drops down. And here it doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm rolling, because it doesn't matter. Let's do the same. So, could have done that on the other one, too. Okay, so the job board's there. And now he's here. And he's just going to go to the next space, which is Santa Fe, which is, which is a white one. So he just takes a regular marker and places it there. And that does give him an objective card. And by rule, he takes the highest objective card, which is the five. So he's got five more points. Gets added to his stack. Pull out a new one. It's another fiver. So he did that. Now he comes back. Now we're having a cowboy convention here at the start space. And we restock the board. So you know, all he does is uh, randomly move, remove from here, or you can pick it. By the rules, you pick it, but I choose to do it randomly. And then when he gets here, he doesn't do anything specific. He just basically takes the next next station, has no location cost, earns no money. He just gets there, but he does. He will take a uh, he will take an objective card. He will take the benefits that he can, like an objective card. The others are after the game, and then he comes down, responds the board. It's back to your turn. Alright, so I'm gonna go and you see how quick this really really runs, you know? It's it's pretty darn good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and move my train again. Although this time 
Yeah, I pay two. Pay two and move my train up to two. So I'm gonna do that. This one pass me. One, two. Oh, I didn't draw. I didn't draw my hand. One, two, three, four. You know, I like to have the bigger hand size as soon as possible. So right now, if I could, I got two cows and one. All right, I'm going to, I am, I am in phase A, now it's in phase B now, because I did pay two and moved my train two. Now I'm going to go ahead and move, put this out there in the played pile, hope I make it. Um, getting pretty good on those, I'm just going to make sure I buy some hazards, uh, so I get to move three. As a, as a reward for that. And I want to get that out of my hand anyway and get a cow going. So uh, I'm going to move three. One, two. Well, I'm going to move two. So I want to upgrade the station for two, which I've done. Now let's replace the disc. And I'm going to. Going to. This disc for my objective. Place it on the station. It'll let me have a larger certificate pool, and then I'm going to take this certificate. And I'm messing myself up. I'm getting rid of my cowboy again, but I want that certificate because I like those. I like those rewards. So now I've got two permanent certificates, which really helps bring in higher. Higher cattle. Okay, so I had done this action and then I played my objective card and now I can take this other action. And this other action is going to be a double action and because I need, I'm going to do draw two, discard two. Briscoe's turn, and all he does is move forward one. He's like, hey, we're having a party. Let's just stay together, dude. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go here. I'm going to move my certificate down one. And for every engineer, I can move my train forward one. I only have one engineer. So I'm going to get my train out of there and move it there. Now he will, his goal is to get, catch up to me, right? So he is not going to just deliberately pull into there and stop and take those points. So I'm, the way I'm playing it is to keep him chasing me. So now it's Briscoe's turn. What's he got left here? Move forward one, take the cattle card with the least amount of victory points. So he moves up, he catches up to me again. So they were pacing each other, buddy. So the least amount of victory points here is... Just the yellows, and since they're identical, you just take one that doesn't need to flip for them or anything like that. So that goes into his points box. So he's done, and we are almost done because he's only got one card left. So let's see what I can do, and then what he can do. All right, so I am going to move here, and for every Every cowboy, I can uh, draw and discard one. So I will do that. So I've got one cowboy. So I'll draw a green belt. And I'll discard an Angus. So now I've got a pretty good hand here. Got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
with my certificates. So I'm in pretty good shape to go into Kansas City. And now my other action is I can move forward up to three spaces. That's awesome. Problem is I have I lost my cowboy and I have no money. So moving forward to the um, moving forward to the uh, cattle thing doesn't do me any good because even though I sold the black Angus for two, I would not get uh, I would not get enough uh, money. Usually I've bought a lot of cows by now. This is I'm moving real slow. Um, and as you can see, the game's like almost half over. Um, and I don't have any matches where I can discard either. Alright, I'm just going to add cattle later and hope that I can take a... If I can take Albuquerque for 10 uh, up there, that'll let me expand my card's hand size to 5. So that's my plan. So I'm just going to ignore everything. I can move 3. Is my last action, so I'm going to move one, two, three. Okay, and I can move my for every engineer. I have one. I can move my train forward one, so I'm going to keep keep this train rolling. That's the new brother should say. And I can take a double action, and I think I am going to take a double action. I'm just getting too old, so I have I have both of those spots clear. So I'm just going to take money. So I might need it later and regret that I didn't do it. All right, so that is going to last move of mine that you're going to see. What is Briscoe going to do with his last card? Okay, he's going to move forward one. So again, he is, oh, this helped me actually. Oh, that actually did help me. That helped me a lot because uh, I should have put the guy there. He put the guy there. If I put the guy there, that actually makes this one, two, three to get here, and this is one, two, so now he naturally just takes my spot. So he goes there. I get two gold. You think that through, Kevin. And now move the train forward three spaces. So this is where he's just playing catch up. So he's just gonna move three. One, two, three. He's not gonna pull in there. And that is the end of his turn. And now you. I've seen all the cards in the in the Automa deck, including the one I took out for moderate mode, which is the extra move forward one, so you know what to do with that one. And you too can now play against the Automa, Briscoe, uh, and play Great Western Trail solo, and enjoy this great game whenever you want to, because it is amazingly good. This is just an awesome game. Okay, so the game is <clears throat> is just about over. It's not completely over. Uh, Briscoe has run uh, the final uh, uh, run to Kansas City. Now, technically, I can go to Kansas City because I got one last turn. The downside is my hand is terrible, and I would be stuck going into delivering to Kansas City and taking a penalty. So I definitely don't want to do that. Um, I did have to go to Topeka for the first time, ever, <laughs> um, since I've been playing. But, uh, so I think um, all I'm going to do to try to get a few more points out of this is I have to go here so I don't advance too far. And then um, I don't have any money left because so I did a lot of uh, purchases at the end. And so I can take an action. Um, but I don't know that there's really anything here that I want to do. Taking the gold would not help me. Two gold. Um, drawing and discarding would not help me. Um, I'm going to draw and discard one guard, I guess. Um, so there's really not much 
point in doing anything, but I have to do something. So, uh, by rules. So, I guess I'll do a draw and discard just to just to round it out. Do another West Highland. So I'll keep it just for fun. Discard one of these mini jerseys I got laying around. So that is my last turn of the game. And so how it ended up is I, I really don't know. I'm going to add up points here in a little bit. I managed I only got two buildings out, but I managed to upgrade my two ones to twos. Uh, he did get three buildings out, including that killer uh, 13. Where is he? Right there. We each made six runs to Kansas City. However, I mitigated some because I'm the only one that took stations. Because I managed to keep my train ahead of him, so he was chasing me the whole time. And he never got to pull in to, uh, to claim me the Station Master token. So I got all of those, uh, all but one. And I made sure he was, I was ahead of him, so he had to chase me instead of going there to get it. I pulled in there, I was going to try to take it, and then I realized I had no workers to take the Station Master tile. So that kind of ruined it for me. I was very lean on workers this time around, too. I did manage to pick up uh, an engineer and a cowboy and enough money and uh, managed to take a uh, take the last station master tile with the engineer and then use the cowboy actually to buy a very nice uh, seven point uh, purple cow. So um, I don't know how that's going to add up. I'm going to do I'll do the scoring here and and show give a give the final tally. But uh, I did get. The uh, all the permanent certificates, which is awesome. I think I'm gonna die though on uh, meeting objectives. Although I did make it to San Francisco and got that one in play, so I'm gonna get the bonus points for that. We shall see. I'll add it up and, uh, and report back. But it played great. It played really wonderfully. Uh, I think I went through the Automa deck three three and part of the fourth turn. I'm not really sure I didn't keep up with it. But again, we, it was pretty even pace because he made it six times, I made it six times. And as you see there, I could have made it one more time if I'd wanted to, but with a horrible, horrible hand, I couldn't have, uh, I couldn't have gotten to one of those, those later spots. Okay, so I finished telling up the scores. For the game and uh, it was pretty close. Um, uh, I'll save the spoiler for you for the very end but uh, it's probably no surprise. Um, so just go down here. Uh, he had no money throughout the game so I'll never get points for that which is good. I had no money so I didn't get any points there. Uh, houses that 13 tile killed it. Uh, 17 to 6. He beat me there by 11 points on the uh, on the building tiles. Um, I've I messed up on on my stations because I have six. He had six, but uh, mine are bunched together on the low end of the scale, and so I got a lot of objective cards and then a couple of big negative hits to my score. The only positive I got was I made it to uh, San Francisco, and so I got nine points for that, but immediately lost four for the other penalties. Uh, the good news is on the uh, station upgrades, I'm the only one that did it because I kept ahead of him, and I got 12 points. Uh, Hazard was close at 7 to 6. We each had two uh, cattle. I did it better than I thought. I was able to grab a 7 point, uh, uh, I'm not sure what they call them now, the Highland cattle or whatever, um, late in the game. See, so another Texas Longhorn for 7 points, uh, which obviously has put me over the top there. Uh, he had only grabbed, uh, because I had taken some of the highest ones, and I know he's got a highest uh, take the highest card, uh, I was able to minimize the effects of him taking the highest card by making it a three or four. For objectives, he just, he gets to complete all the objectives, so he ended up gathering 22 of them. That's going to be hard with four objectives out. Uh, I believe the other variant has it where he takes the one in the end kind of thing and then slide them down. So uh, here he just always takes the highest and therefore, you know, there's always going to probably be a five out there that he's going to build up. So. Um, 
And then the ones I completed, I had 13 completed, and then minus two for uh, uh, not completing one of the main ones. I didn't complete the the freebie, so I didn't have to lose that. The Station Master Tiles, again, I'm the only one that got four of those. And that gave me 15 extra points, which I thought was going to be maybe enough to, to tip the scales. The, uh, the speed bonus for three points we both got, so that was a wash. And then finally he used the one that tipped the job market off the, uh, to end the game, so he got the two bonus points for that. The end result is Briscoe scored 90 and I scored a nice uh, 79. Not bad. Uh, it's my, my best score ever. Uh, and I think it's Briscoe's best score in the two games I played with him. So That is the Great Western Trail Briscoe Automa by Will Gherkin. So you can download that on Board Game Geek and then, uh, and then print those cards and run them. And then uh, I'm going to go through the Garth Automa in another video. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like uh, videos like this, uh, especially for solo play. Thanks again for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!